More of the hunters than fingers. Hunters. Yes. They've been staking out Hollywood for several weeks. They've been in Ash's club, mine, a few others. I think they're whittling down their list of suspects. I'm a bit nervous. Until recently, I had one right under my nose. That's one tiny hunter. For a few weeks, one of them was working here at Vesuvius, keeping an eye on the clientele. I found a weapon in her locker and I fired her. But she's still in Hollywood watching my club. And me. That's awkward. I can make it so she never watched you and breathes dirt. Uh, what else have we got? She came to the city for our heads. Handing her hers is the only way to end it. Uh, you can also tell the sod off, of course. Uh... Oh, let's see. Would you? Number one. I think it might be a little much to ask. No, she's trying to butter us up, but we want to do this anyway, mainly because we want the XP. Like, I know this is a very gamey way to look at it, but trust me, any quest you can give me is great, so thumbs up from me. I like hearing hunters and kill in the same sentence. Oh, there they are again. Oh, what kind of fabulous prizes I win? No, no, we're going to be... We don't ask about prizes, we're doing this as a favour, so she'll do hopefully do one for us. You'd really be willing to do this for me? I won't lie, it's gonna be dangerous. But if you got rid of her, I'd be grateful. Very, very grateful. Hmm. I want you to be grateful a lot. Point me at the hunter. She works over at the Sinbin now. Her hair's blonde on top. Broken heart tattoo on the small of her back. Dances under the name Chastity. As if that wasn't a dead giveaway. I want you to understand. I don't want any innocents killed on my account. So if there are other dancers or patrons around, you'll have to lure them away from her. Do it as quietly as you can. No witnesses, please. And be careful using disciplines around the hunter. Hmm. I will keep this and you on my mind. I am gone. Or I will reappear with their blood on my smile. Either way, uh, thanks, Vivi. Or Velvet, sorry. She gets a bit stressy if you call her that before letting you. That one's Misty. I saw her downstairs. She's the one with the tassels. Very nice. Right then. So, we've got a little, you know, thing we got to do. Get over to the sin bin and upset some locals. But quietly upset some locals. Now, the sin bin is uh, here. Which makes sense because, you know, she's keeping an eye on her. Ooh! Cigarro Falls will make you wet. Oh, so wet. Well, it's a waterfall, I, I, I guess. Anyway. Toys, DVDs, magazine, fetish. I think... Is there a basement entrance to this? That's where we want to go. Yep. We want to go down here. Now, this is really, really easy to stuff up. So you'll have to excuse me if I end up like reloading this at some point. But Okay. There's a few things we need to do. So, Firstly, let's do this. I might need to blood buff this. Balls. It's fine. Blood isn't going to be too much of a problem around here. Yoink. No more change for the machine. Being a peep show, I imagine that will be quite a problem. Next. Break into the manager's office. Again, never much of a problem. Ooh, what's this over here? A nice watch. Don't mind if I do. Mm, so, peep show. Ready a password for this? Sin bin. Sinner? Okay. Let's see. We can shut it on lockdown so we can get rid of everybody. Window 1. Malfunctioning. Override unavailable. Operation operational. So, what we can do, we could actually shut it down. What we can also do is just wait till everybody leaves, of course. Because... Hey, Chunks, brother, or twin, or something. Why don't you get some change out of the change machine? So you can look at the hookers. Oh, what's that? The change machine's out, and you just want to vibrate at me? That's fine. Maybe I should see you later. Maybe you should go. But never come back. Number two. Oh, hey. When his little peep show's over, he too will leave. And this is the staff room, which is great. Just need to wait for this guy to shove off now. 
Damn it, how much change do you have? Well, I could just put it onto lockdown, but I made all that effort now. Okay, this toilet is grottier. Ugh, nasty. Can you concentrate looking at the girls if I, like, you know, stare at you from behind? Does that work? Does it put you off your strokes? Oh, no. Okay, my glorious plan is failing because this guy has brought, like, a million pounds worth of change with him. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah. Guess what? Oh, yeah. You can't watch anymore. Do you know why you can't watch anymore? Because I shut it down. No more boobies for you. Go home. Nope. You can whack it all you like. Sorry. I wonder what you put in those. If it's coins, is that, do you put in quarters or something? Or do you get use those dollar coins? I smell a rancid grave. Do you? A rancid grave? Not in here. Probably smelling something else. Okay. So we need to get in there. Now we could put coins in here, but we're not going to. Uh, really? Oh. So she's by herself now. And we need to get in here. That other lady's gonna, uh... Hmm. There's a re This bit's a bit awkward, because I'm not sure if me breaking in here will upset things or not. Because she's over here, the other girl. You're dancing over there. You're having fun. I'm gonna try it. Let's see what happens. There we go. Psst. Yeah. What are you looking for, honey? Ooh. How about a free ride for an old friend in the other room? Oh. Okay. Sweet. I'll just go back into the pleasure palace. Yeah, you go into the pleasure palace. I appreciate that. Pleasure Palace it is. I think she's aware. They know I'm here. Isn't that awkward? Oh. Damn. Friggin... Okay, that didn't go to plan at all. Wow, you can't, you can't drink her at all. She has like really, really high defense. Let me eat you! Also, let me reload you, because I completely balls that. That's slightly annoying. Now, which bit have I, have I done this already? How far did I go? Yeah, cool, I've done all this, nice. Okay, so we need to persuade the lady to go into the pleasure palace, and then we need to deal with her. I'm really not sure the best way to deal with her, to be honest. Hey, I was waiting in there for ten minutes, what's your problem? Um, y y you were? Having a free ride again? Oh. Okay. I'll just go back into the pleasure palace. Thanks. Thanks, Han. I appreciate that. Even though the reload must have made you think I already did that. I don't know. That's super weird. Okay. Now, what's the most efficient murdering device I currently have on me? And can I get a stealth kill out of this? I don't know if I can. She knows I'm here. This is quite noisy. Killed the hunter with no loss of innocent life. Well, I mean, that's about as good as it's gonna get, I think. We should probably put this axe away. Luckily, her body just disappeared, so no cleaning up necessary. What does she have there? Is that your sword? No. I'm gone. I don't think Vivi will be very happy with that because that was quite noisy, but we'll see. I mean, let's see what the quest log says. Oh, it doesn't say. Okay, fine. Boo! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, no one cares. Okay, disappointing. Uh, let's see. On a scale of 1 to 10, how close do you sit? If I was to munch you here, would that upset the local- <laughs> Nah, it's fine. You're only graffitiing a wall anyway. I need to use you to fill up my blood points. Have fun graffitiing that wall for the rest of time. It's gonna be good. I did that as good as I could. I don't think there's any quieter way of doing that, except maybe if I got a stealth kill, but I don't see how. Hey, I'm just going out to see the manager. Is that okay? Is that okay? Excellent. No one seems to mind, which is grand. Hello. Don't wiggle at me. Look who's back. I am. <laughs> Dolly. Doll. Talking doll. My friends call me Vivi. Velvet will do. Oh, well, I wasn't going to call you that. That's not my fault. Wait, so which one was... So is it Doll as opposed to Dolly? About the hunting one. Mm -hmm. Hunter hunted. Mm. If we'd never taken the paths we did in life, could we have grown fond of each other? A shame you had to take her life. But you've saved mine, and I won't forget that. Nice. I'm not ashamed. <laughs> you will have to learn to like be like me. Uh, she made her. She made our choice. It was her decision. <laughs> ha ha ha! Listen to the talking doll rattle off her pre-programmed platitudes. But no, we're being nice. Yes. But through this ordeal, I've gained an enticing new ally, and I'm beginning to think it was fate. <laughs> I'm beginning to think your head is full of crayons. Let's see. I'm next to you and in your head. Mm. You're just saying what I want to hear. Don't stop. Why are you scowling at me? <laughs> Stopping. <laughs> I will float words to you from wherever I go, but I'm gone. Didn't plan on it. Tell me something else. Mm -hmm. what, is our, what is your fable, doll? And it'll ask you like, her past and stuff. And you get quite an interesting one out of this. But... I kind of want a quest off her, so I'm wondering if we leave and then go, Hey, I'm back. Poor, poor David Hatter. What is the matter? Is he mad? David Hatter's an aspiring screenwriter and hotel manager. Because it was about Oops, secret sorry. societies sorry. and creatures that found themselves dealing with inner beasts and persecution by elder monsters. Sound reminiscent of something to you? Uh, you could say that. All too well. A story I learned only recently. Kindred. No. It's about Kindred. What? The details of his story were too insightful to be coincidental. I think someone's Did working with David. A Kindred who doesn't realize the consequences of their actions. Do you know what the penalty for revealing ourselves to Kine is? Hmm. Death. Death. Death, 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 death. Lost death. Death. I'm afraid poor David's big break. The screenplay he's worked so hard on must be destroyed, and his less-than-silent partner must be... executed. I know David too well. I'm very fond of David, and I'm too close to do what needs to be done. Hmm. So Hatter's play must remain unfinished and in lots of pieces. I don't think Hatter knows his collaborator is kindred. You'll have to take David's screenplay, and somehow you'll have to coax the name of his source out of him. Once you found out who... Kill the traitor, but do not touch David. I think I can manage that. Hmm. There'll be no problem when I'm through. David works at the Lucky Star Motel. He's very passionate about his writing. He loves to talk about his craft. I'm sure he'll talk about his screenplay. It may take some persuasion to get him to give up his collaborator's name, however. My ways are many and hilarious. After this is over, I promise you'll have my complete attention. I like attention. That's why I cut myself in large crowds. I'm gone. So we can deal with that. But we're going to do that next time. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the set. We're going to go see David and actually do something else in the motel. We're going to kind of kill two birds with one stone, so to speak. Don't you jiggle at me, lady. Not while I'm talking. Actually, jiggle away. I don't really mind. It's, it's fine. I really have no problem with it at all. In fact, I mean, this is kind of why we're here. Isn't it? Um, you probably wonder why I'm standing here talking to myself. It's because I'm insane. Till next time.